Hi, welcome to this brief video on getting started with the HR Data Manager. During the trial, the default username and password for the HR Data Manager are the lowercase word trial. After the software has been activated and is no longer a trial edition, the default username becomes administrator and the password to log in is lowercase change me. I'm going to go ahead and log in. The first screen we come to is the home screen and this is where we can navigate to different areas of the program to work with the data and do what we need. The default window we see is the create and edit data and this is where we can access employee data, job information, training information, CRM, etc. There's other options along here. If I press view print reports, I see options for reports and setup and maintenance. I see what my options are for uh, lists and other maintenance functions. I'm going to go ahead and go back to create and edit data. Uh, down below here, you can see reminders section. So if we have reminders, those pop up and are color coded so that if they're they're late or coming up due, they've got a different color background so they stand out. Along the right here, we have some buttons. Getting started will take you to some videos such as this one to help you get started. Change password so the current user can change their password. And if you're an administrative user, you see system preferences and security admin. I'm going to go ahead and take a moment to go into security admin. And this is where you could change the password of the administrator user from change me to something more appropriate. The trial user no longer works once the software has become activated. It doesn't hurt for it to be in there, but it can either be deleted or not. New users can be added and assigned a temporary password that they can then change later once they've logged in. And if you've defined locations, you can also set so they can only view a specific location. We don't have any locations set at this point. When creating a new user, their permissions need to be set. The easiest way is to press the button, load all groups, which would make them an administrative user. And if you need to delete some areas so they can't see them, you can go ahead and do that. I'm going to go ahead and close this. We'll get more into security in a different video. The easiest way to get started with a blank system is to preload the list with information appropriate for your organization. As an example, I'm going to go ahead and add some departments into the department list. So if I go up to set up and maintain system and go to HRM lists, if I scroll down a bit here, I can see departments. I'm going to go ahead and add a few departments. As you can see, each time I add a row, a new row with an asterisk pops up below so that I can continue adding as needed. Also, you notice the small pencil on the left side of the row that I'm currently editing. And once I tab out of that row, that's no longer there and that record is saved. So I'm going to go ahead and close. And I'm going to go into the employee data. And I'm not going to get into how to employ, add a, a new employee record yet because that will be part of a different video. But I do want to show you that the items in the list are there for department. Now most of the lists throughout the program also allow adding on the fly. While it's convenient to preload the list with what's appropriate for your organization, sometimes you're in the program, you have a need to add an item, and it'd be really inconvenient to have to close out, go back into maintenance, add it, and then come back. If I double click in the drop-down, it asks me if I want to edit the items in the list. And if I say yes, 
it pulls up that same form showing me the departments we've already added and with the asterisk row here I can add some more. And as you can see the one we just added on the fly is there. So that's the quickest way to get started is to preload the list and get everything set uh, so that it's ready to accept your organization's data in the in the format you need and then you're ready to start doing data entry or import employee records and that'll be the topic of another video thank you very much